Hey guys, it is Julie here with JT Wealth. In today's video, we are discussing three great stocks to buy in November. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back and thank you so much for being here. I hope you're all surviving what has been a little bit of a stressful week. Of course, here in the US, we are still sitting in a bit of limbo on the presidential election as we wait for the last few states to finish counting their votes. And many thought with all of this uncertainty that we would see further declines in volatility in the stock market, but actually the opposite has happened and we've seen a fairly green week for the markets. So like I said, in today's video, we are gonna take a look at three stocks that could be a great addition to your portfolio and why we think that they have potential. Of course, keep in mind that these videos are just my own opinion and for entertainment purposes, so any trades should always be based on your own due diligence. And before we get started with our three stock picks, this is just your friendly reminder to please make sure you're subscribed to the channel, helps us grow and helps you stay up to date with all of our latest videos. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button too. And don't forget to check out some of the links down below in our description, which includes the link to my Patreon page, as well as some great referral links where with Webull right now, if you open up a new investment account and make a deposit of $100, you get three free stocks, so check them out. Okay, now let's talk stocks. And the first one on our list today is Teladoc. Teladoc trades under the ticker TDOC, currently around $208. Now they did see a bit of a dip at the end of October, which they're starting to rebound from now. Teladoc is a telehealth company, and they recently completed a merger with another telehealth company, Lovongo. Now that merger is going to further improve the company's penetration in the chronic care market. The combined company will ideally become a single source for patients with acute, episodic, and chronic care need. Now, with our global pandemic not slowing down and the additional threat of flu season, we could be headed into what will be a rough winter. Now, we've already seen the pandemic serve as a huge catalyst for Teladoc, and our current situation going into the winter will help benefit them further. Now, sooner or later, this pandemic will end, but Teladoc is positioned for long-term growth here in the U.S., regardless of how long this crisis lingers. The merger with Lovongo brought a new addressable U.S. market of around $47 billion to the table for Teladoc. This figure includes only the opportunity for Lovongo's digital health platform in helping individuals manage diabetes or hypertension. Other chronic conditions aren't factored into the total. Teladoc believes that its addressable U.S. market is close to $74 billion. With Lovongo now under its wing, their total U.S. opportunity is around $121 billion. And no, they won't capture all of that potential market, but it does give them a huge growth potential. And that addressable market of $121 billion only includes the US. It does not factor in other worldwide opportunities, which are significant. Looking at the tip ranks for Teladoc, they're currently rated as a strong buy with an average price target of $257, representing over a 23% upside and a high end of $305. Second company on our list today is the online sports betting company, DraftKings. They trade under the ticker DKNG and are currently trading right around that $43 mark. Now, DraftKings came out as a winner from this election cycle as Maryland, Louisiana, and South Dakota all voted yes to legalizing sports betting. And those three new additions bring the total to 21 states that have now legalized sports betting in America. So when we look at all this, earlier in 2020, DraftKings was only operating its sports book business in 12% of the US. The addition of Colorado brought that to about 14%. So the addition of the three states mentioned above brings the total possible pool of legal online territories to about 28% of the US population, which is double DraftKings current operating scale. Adding in all the other territories that have legalized sports betting in retail locations, but not yet online, gets DraftKings up to a total possible of 40%. Now, DraftKings estimates that the U.S. online sports betting market, not even including its existing fantasy revenue streams, is worth anywhere between $18 to $23 billion. 
using the low end of that market sizing range and assuming 65% of the US population eventually legalizes online sports betting, giving DraftKings a 30% market share yields an expected gross revenue of $3.5 billion. So that is significantly beyond their current approximate $500 million revenue run rate. Looking at our tip ranks, they are rated a moderate buy with a price target of $58.06, representing almost a 35% upside with a high-end target of $76. So they have significant tailwinds from new market openings to dramatically grow their sportsbook revenue in 2021 and beyond. And last but not least on our list of companies today is Alliance Data Systems. They trade under the ticker ADS and are currently around the $58 price point. Alliance Data Systems captures and analyzes the purchase transaction data for over 145 branded credit and rewards programs. The company's clients include big names like Ulta Beauty and Pottery Barn. So Alliance uses the captured data on retail transactions to better tailor the reward programs, creating more effective marketing communications and enhancing customer loyalty. Now the retail recession in the first half of this year that was brought on by the pandemic definitely hit Alliance hard and their stock prices plummeted down from highs of $115 and they're still trading about 50% down on the year to year basis. Also positive for Alliance, the company last month signed a definitive deal to acquire a digital payment company, Bread, in a deal valued at $450 million. JP Morgan's Reginald Smith said that management is moving aggressively to reposition the company and early credit and payment trends are better than feared. They believe Alliance data is positioned to benefit from the secular shift away from the traditional mass marketing towards more targeted marketing programs that provide quantifiable and measurable returns. Taking a look at tip ranks, we have a strong buy rating with analysts price target coming in at $71.43, representing about a 22% upside with a high end target of $90. So those are three great companies that I think have some awesome potential in both the near and long-term timeframes. I know there are a lot of great opportunities out there right now though, with all of this volatility creating some pretty interesting buying opportunities. So let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of these three picks and what are some others that you have your eye on? I always love hearing from you guys, so make sure you leave a comment. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up and double check that you're subscribed to the channel too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and cheers.